Set. Set. Red. Yeah! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Y'all have been waiting. Hear him? Old Frederick, he's ready to go. Check it out. The rig. This is Charlie's rig at Sand Hill Retrievers. Not Sand Hill Flyways. That's the guide service. Sand Hill Retrievers. And we got old Frederick. You guys have wanted to see him for so long. I'm not going to waste any time. Come on, buddy. Oh, there he is. Come here, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Heel. Right here. Sit. Sit down. Look how excited he is. Oh, oh you're a good looking boy. Brad. Oh, he's going to Charlie. He's like, Charlie, I'm all yours now. You done stolen from me, man. I'm telling you what, Charlie is one heck of a trainer. Fred already ch trusts him with everything, I swear. But uh, this is the first video of the dog training series. You guys have been asking me a lot when, when it's going to happen. But old Frederick, he has been listening to Charlie so well. Um... So this is what we're gonna do. The most common question that I get asked first and foremost is, Bobby, I just bought a puppy. What do I need to do? How do I start training? How do I integrate training? What do I need to be doing? What foods do I need to feed him? So today's video, the first half of it, is gonna be us explaining to all you new uh, lab owners out there, hunting dog retriever, duck dog owners of puppies, how to get your puppy started. But first and foremost here, before we get started, I wanna give a massive, massive shout out to DT Systems. DT Systems, they sponsored Fred last waterfowl season, and they have now sponsored all the training videos to come. Old DT, show them what we got going on here. We got the 1825, takes up to three dogs. Oh, so you can run three dogs off You can run off three dogs off one collar. That's one, awesome. One remote, three dogs. We've got the vibrate, you can stimulate and vibrate vibrate at the same time gotcha. uh nick or con consistent all in one hand so gotcha. very very good and it floats so oh and very good and <laughs> very very good for a waterfowl right it floats that's a big deal for us duck hunters but dt like i said they have provided all of all the products that we're going to be using for all of these training videos bumpers launchers remote launchers Literally they have everything. Done awesome. They, they have, have really done us, us a very, huge, very well. Yeah. Especially Charlie. They, they've yes. hooked Charlie up at Sand Hill Retrievers. If you guys are interested in anything dog training related, anything breeding related, he has puppies for sale as well. Yes, sir. Hit him up and, on the website. Go yep. check out his website right here. <laughs> Sandhillretrievers.com. Sand Retrievers. But well, today we got live Heel. pigeons. Hey. Look, he misses his dad. Poor guy. We got live pigeons and and we got live pigeons and we got a mallard in the cage. I don't even want to know. What are what are we about what are we about to do here with the birds? Well, these are our flyers. We train dogs with flyers. Right. Uh, flyers are a big part of our training because they they add a lot more excitement to our training to our dog. I mean, they're a lot more exciting than just a bumper being thrown. So right. it, it's the ultimate test. I mean, we're we're killing birds in the field and with the birds that it, it creates that excitement so right. we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do with them right now first of all the mallard that is a farm raised mallard no we're not gonna shoot that bird no, no. so just to let you know <laughs> so uh like i was saying the biggest most asked question from you guys uh and b before we get started there today's video is about your zero to six month old puppy what to feed how to train how to train how to be uh, how aggressive you actually need to be and how fun you need to make everything while they're young look he's, look at, he's like come on come, come on, on dad, let me out all right so this is blaze how old's blaze 13 weeks 13 weeks 13 weeks old right so, so with blaze right now you're not expecting him bird to... no he is bird crazy already and that's what way we want to keep him uh the main thing is with blaze is his health let's let's just talk a little bit about health uh, Blaze just went for his second checkup uh, last week. So Blaze will go in for his third checkup for his third rabies shot, his final round of shots uh, next week. 
always make sure and get your your dogs vaccinated. Look because how excited he is. He knows he's gonna he play. He wants the bumper. That's not a bad thing no, at no, that no, age. No, 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 no. You a, want this. This is thing. exactly right. what you're looking for. A lot of people so, at this age, you'll be like, oh, so here we go. Place, you'll be like, place, oh, that dog's crazy. No, place, they're, they're, they should be excited when they sit, know that they're gonna work sit, in some water. Sit. See, look at this. Good. Sit. No. No, no, no. Sit. Good boy. Play. So right there, that, that's all you should expect your 13 week, your three month old dog. All right, hey, hey, hey. That's it. Be vocal, be, good boy, good boy. A lot of attaboys, a lot, a lot of attaboys. Right. That dog can do no wrong right now, basically. Right, if right. If he doesn't get it, he's a puppy. He's right. gonna get it, but I mean, Blaze has been doing this since day one, since eight weeks old, so. Right. Sit, sit. So that's it. <laughs> he's like a duck. He's a dock dog already, boy. He can jump. Look, he grabs the rope because his little he mouth is. Whatever he can grab. That's awesome. That's okay right now. We're trying to teach him how to swim. Look at him. Yep. So right. We're looking forward to be perfect, guys. Right. Hey. We're just looking. Hey, hey, to... hey, 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 oh, hey, oh, oh, oh. hey, 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 boy. That a boy. See, <laughs> encouragement. Boy. That is the that most biggest quality hey, hey, right now. Hey. Sit. 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 No, no, no. Sit. 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 Good. <laughs> he jumps six foot every time. I'm telling you, man. He, this one is bird crazy. Bird crazy. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. So this is it, guys. When you buy your dog, let me get this out real quick. When you buy your dog, don't expect your three, four, five month old dog to be healing. They don't know what the word heal means. They don't know what, you know, here, here, here. Praise. Praise, 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 and you'll have yourself a good old puppy ready to go. All praise right, always wins. See, Charlie's already introducing the whistle. Yeah, he has no idea what that whistle means. All I'm doing is introducing him to as he's coming back to me saying, hey, come to me. Right, right, good boy. What I didn't do and what I should have did with Fred with a, with a, with a, with a, with a whistle, yeah. So guys, I want to I just don't want this. him to be scared of it. That's my thing. I right. just don't want him to be scared of it. And I'm, I'll sit here and here. You got to get him used to loud noise. You're going to be shooting a shotgun, guys. Yeah, clap. Now, have ha, have you shot Sit. a gun with around? No, him? no, 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 right. no, no. Not so till don't do that. Do six months. Do that. All we're six doing months. right now is socializing. That this puppy. I mean, I take him to ball game. My kids' t-ball games. I take him to tractor supply. I take him on rides in the truck on the ranger. Right. I mean. From this age to to uh, six months, socializing. That's right. what you want. But you want to keep it simple and keep it short. Keep it real short. Attention span. When they're this so, young. When they're this young. They're just so, like, an, like, they're, like you said right earlier, now, they're just he, like a toddler. All he is wanting is this bumper. That's all right. he wants. So he is being a good boy. Sit, sit, good, sit, blaze. That's all it takes. Do this with your dog. You know. We'll show you another one here. We'll show you another one that's not quite as birdie and how to kind of coast them in. Gotcha. And you might have to keep it a little simpler. Right. All right, good boy, good. <laughs> good boy, please. Fred, he's pissed. He wants out, dude. So guys, I've had a lot of questions with uh, a lot of you have sent me pictures of potential puppies you're wanting to buy and you're saying, hey, is this a good dog? And, and I have no idea. But here's, here's a couple tips that y'all need to take with you uh, if you're interested in buying a dog and, and you just need to kind of know what you're looking for. Go to a pro, guys. Uh, go Call anybody. Call me. I can, I can surely direct you in the right direction. You don't have to buy from me. I'm not asking you to buy from me. Go to a pro. A lot of the pros are going to have certified dogs that are... Uh, they're all certified. All, right. all the health clearances are certified. Uh, EIC, everything's hips to the nine and you'll get a, you're going to get a dog like this that's you know he's got some drive sort of, in yeah it's going to have he's already drive. has drive, the bloodline in him he's got drive he wants to retrieve he comes from retrievers mom and dad what charlie's saying go with someone reputable if you're wanting it to turn out well oh. if you're not wanting to just waste your money cuz I'll tell you right now you can easily Rocky. waste your money uh oh here's the next one Rocky. look he's look now, so much more timid. Two weeks younger, but he is a ball of fire. <laughs> a ball of fire. What's Rocky, his Rocky. name? Rocky. Roll Rocky dog. Rocky. He's a good-looking black Sit. dog. Good. Rocky. 
<laughs> and we're using a squeaky toy with him because he's not quite got that drive that Blaze has. But, gotcha. But good boy. That's Lots a of good praise. Boy. Lots of praise. Good boy, bud. This is, this is puppy you want, days. You want the best place for that dog to be, for that dog to feel like it's most wanted is right by your side. Right. <laughs> Become See their it? best See friend it? right off the bat. See it? That's, that's the most important thing. Blaze, Become Rocky. <laughs> Blaze, Rocky, Fred. Which one are you? <laughs> When you got 15 dogs, <laughs> it gets mixed up once in a while. Hey, hey, hey! He's a All dude. Right. He's gonna be a he, he's a champion for sure. Good boy. All right, hey, you want your ball? He's a lot more tame than old Blaze. Hey, I'll tell you what. Hey, hey, you want your ball? You like the little tennis ball? Hey. Oh, a lot more timid. See, guys? Oh, yep, yep. Oh, this is teaching him water. Yep. He's kind of going in some circles for a minute here. He's so cute, dude. We're just looking for him to get in the water, not to be afraid. Right. Just building confidence. That That's what it's boy. about. That a boy. A little trick. Every, uh, everybody asks me, my dog won't come back to me. So a little trick you can do. Hey, hey, hey. Rocky. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey. Run away from him. Run away hey. from him. Gotcha. Make him, make him run to you. Make him run to you by running away. Hey, hey, hey! Give him a good hey, hey, hey! Run away from him and make him follow you. You're gonna, you're gonna They're teach gonna him. Follow you. Yeah, you're gonna teach him here. <laughs> Puppies, though, uh, I can tell you, be happy, be excited, give them lots of love and praise. Of love. Zero to six months. Now, real quick, I've had a lot of people ask about food. What should they oh. be doing about food? I like to feed an all-stage 30, 30 or 30, 20 blend. Uh, it's 30% protein, 20% fat. It just all depends on how you're working your dog. I mean, if you're working, if you're training your dog every day like I am, training my dogs, I like to give them that high protein. Right. You can cut back on that protein in, you know, like the summer months right. when you're not training as hard right. and making your dog run as far. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've got dogs that are doing 900 yard marks, so. Right. I mean, it's. Any any 30 20 blend, uh, 30, 20 buy, buy the good food. Uh, you got to spend some money on good food. There's some good food out there, guys. I'm not gonna, there's tell a lot you of who, brands. I, I'm there's not gonna tell you who to use because there's so many good ones, right? But uh, but yeah. I would tell you right now, just going to Walmart and buying a $20 50 pound bag that's not the food you want to buy. Spend some money. I know that every bag that I buy for, for Fred, it's 45 50 bucks at minimum. So real quick guys, we uh, I really wanted to cover exactly how much excitement and and how much you should expect hey, 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 from your young you know, young dog. You know what I'm hey, saying? Hey. To add to that, Charlie just hit on a good point. Make your sessions very short with your new puppy. You got to have short sessions to keep them interested. You got a real short attention span and I mean Make them happy. Put them away. Always put a dog away wanting more. Don't put them away tired. I mean, that, that's the best advice I can give you. Right. The next time they come out of that kennel, they're going to want to work and have fun. We probably don't. Work needs to equal fun in your puppy's eyes. All righty. That was uh, the bulk of, you know, zero to six months. What you need to be doing, high energy, right? So now... We got rain. She's right at seven months old. If you hadn't have told me that, I wouldn't. I would have thought she was like a year old because she's so good at seven months. Seven, eight months old. Golly, she is amazing. Uh, obviously, just collar trained everything by seven months. Charlie has done one heck of a job with old rain here, and she's just going to show you with the right training, just like Charlie can provide. This is what a seven-month dog looks like, highly trained. Heel. She's going. Heel. Alright. Heel. Heel. Sit. Good. She's so good. Sit. Mark. Nose the ears perk up. Mm -hmm. Mark. Good. She is on a mission. Dude, she is awesome. Seven months staying like a champion, healing like a champion. Goodness. So, uh, Charlie had hit on something really good earlier. Good girl.
Girl. Come Lots here. of praise still. Charlie was like, you know, you, we need to tell him, you can go get your own dog. If you want a really good dog, Rain, at seven months, how much would you sell her for right now? 3500 is what Rain's going for. She is a started dog. Right. And, and just to get this straight, if you go and buy, like, the best bloodline puppy, how you much know. does that cost you? <laughs> well, I'll go ahead and tell you. Blaze cost me $3,500. As a puppy? As a puppy. Yeah, how, a month old, right? Or mm -hmm. two months old. Yeah, two months. Two months so old. 13 weeks. So. Right. So, what I'm getting at, guys, Eel. if you want to make sure that you can have a good dog and you have the money to spend, Eel. get you, Sit. buy you a six, seven-month-old started dog. Right. That way, right. all of the hard stuff is done already, man. Look at that. Hey. Back. God, Fred can't even do that. Not even close. All right, good My girl. My goodness. Eel. Good. Sit. That is a seven, eight month old started dog. That, that if I would have known, I mean, I can't say that. Fred, man, he was given to me by a subscriber, you know. And Fred is an awesome breed. She, she's completely whistle trained. Jeez. Good girl. <laughs> wow. It's a way to go, honestly. Yeah, started dog. This is a started dog. When I'm. When I'm saying started dog, this is what you get for being a started, for getting a started dog. And honestly, for $3,500, <laughs> you get a lot. Yeah, yeah. A ton. So. Hey, hey, hey! Now end it with a fun throw. Always end it with fun. Always make it fun. We're just, all we're doing here is just to see if she's going to cheat that bank. Right. And sent it. Yep, there she goes. Oop, oop. There we go. Good girl. Right back into the water. Like yep. She could have went around the bank, but that's yep. what Charlie's been training for her not to do. Yep. Seven months old. Seven months old. Get you a started dog. You, <laughs> it's worth the gray hairs. I'm serious. All right. I've had a lot of questions. I've told you guys uh, that uh, a lot of the pigeons that I'm trapping, I'm going to be using for Fred's training. And that's what we're doing now. Uh, first of all, pigeons are an invasive species. Uh, there's no regulations. There's no laws. So they make for great, great dog training tools. And in this manner, what Charlie's doing right now, don't get all crazy, he's just taping the ends of their flight feathers. He's taping their wings so they can't fly off. Now, if y'all have watched Fred enough last season, he's got a real soft mouth. Uh, if the bird was alive and he picked it up off the ground, he brought it back alive. He didn't kill him in the mouth. So that's another part of this little training technique is to train the dog to have a soft mouth, not just to crunch down and just pit bull the bird. You know what I mean? You've been using this technique for how long? Ever since I've started using live flyers. I right. Mean, so basically eight, nine years now. Nine years. Basically, you said it perfect earlier. You're like, Bobby, this simulates a flopping bird, a downed bird, uh, a wounded bird, something moving, something resting. You yep. know. What you're trying to do is replicate. The hunting, the hunting situation. Yep. Right. Hunting. Sitting in the field. You want to replicate it as good as you can during summertime, and it's kind of hard right. to do. You got to do this, guys. Yeah. You got to. Now, you can tape the feathers, or you can you pull can... flight feathers, too. Show me I do this. Flight feathers are. Well, flight I got feather. them taped up oh, now, but yeah. flight, flight feathers, flight feathers are, are back are in the, here. Or the big white ones, the big yep. ones that go right here. Yep. You can tape them back. I tape them back. That way, that they once we get done with them, if the 90% of the time the dog the the dog will not kill the bird. Right. We we will re this bird will go back into the pen and live, you know, live and live to do it another day. Well, he's he's a training tool. Not going to lie. <laughs> that is what he <laughs> I'm is. I'm sorry to laugh, but it's like I'm trying to explain it in the yeah. most humane way. It's like there's a lot of we'll just leave it at that. All right, Freddy Ricky, come <laughs> on, buddy. There's the Rico. Uh-huh. We've missed you. I guarantee you, Bodie and Mama and Harper at home, they're going to be mad because I didn't bring them along. I'm going to have to take Fred home to visit the family here real soon. All right, here we go. We got the old Franke out here, old baby girl. And we got old Fred on place, on the mat. He's ready, set. And we got the collar on him. Now, I want to tell you guys, we do have the DT shot collar on, and I'll tell you, we are not using it. We have it on Fred for him to get used to. Uh, one video that you guys can expect in the near near future is we're going to collar condition Fred. That means we're going to fully re 
do everything bad that I did before and we're gonna redo it and we're gonna call our condition Fred the right way and we're gonna teach you guys in another video to come how to do that as well as a force fetch video a lot of good informational dog training videos to come y'all so on this little gig what we're gonna do is Charlie is over yonder and he has taped up the pigeons wings he has a duck call so we're gonna simulate a water duck hunt right now that is what we're gonna do we're not killing the pigeon I got my gun Charlie's gonna th throw the he, Charlie's gonna at first blow the duck call throw the pigeon Fred will remain in place while the pigeons in the air I'll pull the trigger to replicate the gun and then Fred needs to be sent not breaking and ex exactly if he breaks he don't get to go get that bird Alrighty, I'm gonna put them on my left side like normal. Right, set, set, stay. Alrighty, set, set. Fred. There we go. That was good. So now the pigeon, it is swimming, and Fred's going to bring it back. Good boy, here. Here. That's a good dog. Good, Fred, here. Good boy. Come on. Here. Heel. Place. Set. Drop. Good boy. Now that bird see. is completely alive and yes. ready to go again. That's what I wanted to show you guys. Did you see how he held it? You've That's... been doing work on him, dude. We have been. He's been doing awesome. Pigeon, ready to go again. It's all about teaching him with a live bird how to have a soft mouth. We're not out here to be destructive or cruel to animals. It's just another tool, a legal tool. A legal tool yes, to train. To train your dog. Thank you. Oh, Fred. <laughs> he's loving it. That's a good dog. So now what we're going to do is he's going to make Ty sit. And we're going to let Fred retrieve it. He's going to remote send Fred here. Sit. Sit. Oh, landed it all the way across. Fred! He's so excited he can't even see straight. <laughs> Look at him, dude. He, I've never seen him swim that hard. He is just a freight train. He's doing so good. Look at him, he completely just smoked it. Fred, here, right now. Look, he's cheating. You little punk. Place, place. Right, you little sit. turkey. That's okay. We're so, that so, point. so, how do we? What? What is the trick of the trade to teach him not to do that? We make. We got to get him collar condition. Gotcha. Collar condition. Then you make the bank hot when they're coming around. Uh -huh. And if you guys watched my, I don't know, Sandhill uh, Retrievers on Instagram. Right. But I did this with Rain two nights ago in Fred, and Rain, Fred was. We were beginning stages of it, and then will work towards the outside of the pond you it's always a learning curve. teach the dog don't expect the dog to know it right I mean, you have to teach the dog that's why we're here with charlie because i'm an idiot with dog training <laughs> oh God, he's doing awesome dance. yeah he is look at him he's like what do you want here. me to do next dad sit just a good boy sit 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 kai good <laughs> boy fred you he, he has so much ambition. Sit. That's the thing. Sit. You just gotta tell. You gotta teach him to mind. Sit down. Good boy. You're a good baby. We miss you. We miss you, buddy. So, just like the puppies, the old dogs, you gotta you end ready? it on. You gotta end it on a good note. Hey, hey, hey! Let them have fun. <laughs> she didn't even. Kai, Kai. <laughs> You, did. you don't want one coming back with nothing. You right. Throw them both one. Yeah. End it on a good note. Look at them both. Just loving life. There is nothing better than two dogs working together, I'll tell you right now. All right, bud. Hey, watch. Hey. 
Oh. Here, Fred, here. Fred, here. Place. Set. Hold. No. Good boy, drop. <laughs> I was gonna make him hold it for a minute. <laughs> Sit. Fetch. Alright. Good boy. Sit. Fetch. Alright, good boy. Fetch. All so right. this little this little Sit. rhythm that you got going Fetch. on. Good boy. What Good what's, job, what are you buddy. after when Sit. you're doing that? What what's your goal doing that? I want that repetitive striking after it. Like that right. is that is what we're looking for in the fetch. Even though he has no idea what the word fetch means, we have not force fetched this dog at all. He has no clue what fetch means. So what we're doing is making a game out of it. We're making it fun. And even though he doesn't know, he's getting that word in his mind. Because as soon as I say fetch and he grabs it, I'm loving the heck out of him. I'm, I'm right. giving him all kinds of praise. Like, oh, that's what he wants me to do. He wants that bumper in my mouth. All right. Fetch. All right, good boy. Well, it's time to be put up. Kai, kennel. Kai. <laughs> Fred. I love you, buddy. Fred, kennel. Kennel. <laughs> Boy, howdy training. Y'all, you know, y'all told me from the get-go. A lot of you uh, guys that have had dogs for a long time, not only you, Charlie was the one <laughs> up my butt do going, dude. Just let me have Fred. Even, even last year before we started, you know, this yep. whole theory of training videos and what we're doing now, last year Charlie was like, Bob, just bring Fred to me, drop him off, leave him here, and you can take him hunting. The hardest part. It was, uh, it's not as bad now. The beginning, what was it? It's been a month. Well, yeah, we're, right? We're, we're moving right along. Right out of Better than what we thought, really. Right. So, he's, he's doing good. You've doing been working good. on breaking. Breaking, breaking is the first. Right now, breaking, next to come, guys, is going to be collar conditioning collar. and force fetch. So, so collar conditioning first. Yep. And then force fetch. Yep. That's what you can expect on the dog training videos to come. So all of you ha that have your seven month, eight month, year old, two year old dog that you haven't collar conditioned, the next video will be for you. And always, if you have any questions, give me a call. Right. Bobby's where, posted my number. They, no, just say 812-240-3324. Please. Instagram. Instagram. Hit them up on Instagram. Yeah. Sand Hill Retrievers, uh, Charlie, luckily we live close to each other so we can do all this awesome stuff for you. And thankfully, Charlie, has been doing this long enough and he has everything to do it. It's nice. We try. And big shout out to DT Systems yet again. Awesome bumpers, awesome collars, and great customer service, guys. Give him a call. He said it. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that keeps it real.